Over the next few hours, I'll be donating thanks to the homeless that could possibly save their lives this season. I'm from Atlanta, home to some of the best rappers, best strip clubs, and your World Series of Atlanta Braves. But Atlanta has a serious problem no one seems to focus on, and that's the homeless population. There are at least 3,200 homeless people living in the city of Atlanta alone, and they're about to endure the hardest season without being a growing children. problem that's becoming harder and harder to ignore. On any given night, hundreds of people are sleeping on the streets of Atlanta. So you guys, I just got back from getting my food and I just noticed how damn cold it was. I mean, I'm talking about really, really cold. I'm from Atlanta, so it usually don't get this cold here, but it is fucking freezing. Look at this. It is currently, what, 28 degrees? Wow. And tomorrow will be a low of 30. And I just realized how many people are homeless and like don't have nowhere to sleep. They're sleeping outside. Look, it is 28 degrees. Nobody should be sleeping outside at 28 degrees. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take matters into my own hand and I'm going to make sure whoever I find tomorrow homeless, I'm going to make sure that they got a blanket, socks, whoever. I'm going to bless the homeless tomorrow, basically. Hey, man, I'll see you when I'm shopping tomorrow. So that morning I hit the ground running. I soon began to realize, mm, how am I going to help the homeless? Oh and I look homeless. <laughs> There I go, looking down bad. So I hit my girl up and asked her for the help a brother out 1,000 because I definitely needed it, for sure. Okay, now that I don't officially look like the homeless, I'm gonna go ahead and grab some stuff for them. Uh, blankets, pillows, I'm gonna hit up some Goodwills, a couple thrift stores, see what I can get, man. And uh, yeah, I'll see you when I get there. All right, one store down. I think I'm gonna hit up Walmart get like a couple socks things of that nature and I'm done it is absolutely insane how packed this Walmart is the day before Thanksgiving uh, I guess a lot of people are last minute <laughs> I swear absolutely packed <laughs> it's crazy let's get in here first place I'm gonna go I'm gonna try and see if I can find some type of wool socks something that keeps your feet warm and I know that my feet are usually cold in the house so i can only imagine if i'm outside how fucking cold my feet would be but let's go to the clothing area so i started with socks because nobody likes cold feet and that's number one if you ask me but as i'm walking around and i'm grabbing stuff i don't see much on the shelves not sure if walmart has shortage of employees or if the church got to them before i did but i mean it was nothing on the show i mean i was like scavenging hunting or something i don't know it was nothing and then i moved on to the snacks even though they're homeless you know people get a sweet tooth from here and there so i grabbed them a few snacks some bread and meat and I also got him a sweet potato pie. What's Thanksgiving with no sweet potato pie? So I got him a sweet potato pie, and I know they gonna like it. So now I'm leaving Walmart, got everything that I needed out of there. I got some good things for them to eat. I got some socks. I even got them a book bag to put all that shit in. And uh, when I get home, I'll lay it all out, show you guys what I got, and then we'll go from there. See you then. All right, <clears throat> okay, I'm back at home. I'm gonna show you guys what I got them. Uh, got it all laid out here for you, and here it is. 
So I started off, I got them two bags. This is uh I'm gonna this is what I'm gonna put everything in. I got these, they're only none for like seven dollars. I got these uh kind of sort of blanket almost quilts, like the stuff your grandmother knits for you. I got two hats, very thick George, George hats. I got these wool socks, keep your feet closed, um, uh, keep your feet warm, keep your feet warm. I got two scarves. That I think will be very useful. I also found this like kind of like ski mask type thing. It's like really, you know, looks like it'll hold some heat. I got a sweater. I got also a hoodie and I got another sweater just to throw in there. And then let's go to the food. I got I got bread and I also got meat so they can not just eat today, but maybe eat for another two, three days, hopefully. Uh, I got Gatorade for them. I got a few snacks because they still are human, you know. Everybody gets a sweet tooth. And I got them sweet potatoes because, you know, Thanksgiving is upon us. And they should feel like it's Thanksgiving. So, just, this is all I got them. Didn't cost me nothing but maybe $110. And it will be put to great use by whoever I decide to give it to. All right, man, so I am in the car. I am on my way to Grady Memorial Hospital where I'm gonna meet my friend, Chris. Uh, I just feel like it's safer if two people is doing this. So Chris will be filming me while I go up and I get his stuff away. Also, I'll be asking the, you know, the homeless person, you know, how is it out here living on the streets, man? How long have you been homeless? Uh, how is it sleeping outside at night, you know, when it's 30 and 20 degrees? You know, just to, uh, just to give you guys a perspective of you know how they feel at nighttime. So I'm on my way there now. I'm gonna meet him. I'm meet him at Grady, and he said that there's a shelter nearby over there. So we're gonna go uh, near the shelter and see if we can find somebody to get his stuff away to. Boy, I tell you, Atlanta traffic is some different three miles it's gonna take me 17 minutes to go three miles only in atlanta man only in atlanta all right man so i finally made it downtown as y'all can see it's starting to get dark i gotta hurry up and do this i wanted my goal is to find one woman and one male and uh you know give them this stuff uh, i don't want to give it i just want to catch both genders um yeah man it's a lot of it's a lot of homeless people out here uh waiting on my friend though i don't know if you guys ever just even imagine like i could never even picture myself living down here or just on the streets living like this it's so dangerous and then especially at nighttime during this time it is extremely cold so you know i just feel absolutely horrible for him honestly So, after driving around for quite some time, you know, I met up with my boy Chris and, you know, we proceeded to bless the homeless. I found one guy, he was already out there asking for people to give him money, so I felt it would be perfect for me to bless somebody who's already in need of something. So, that's what I did, and you're about to see that right about now. I hope you, uh, you know, I hope you enjoy it. I'm 
man. When you get up on your feet, I know you're going to get up on your feet. Alright, I always do. Alright, huh? Taking that. Yeah, for sure. All right, that's the first one now. We got one more bag to go. I'm gonna go get this shit away. It's kind of getting dark, so we don't want to be out here too late at night. And yeah, man. All right, two. Let's do it. Good day, right now. I got something better for you, man. I got something better for both of y'all. What, what you got? I got some food. I got some, you know what I'm saying? It's cold out here. I don't know how y'all just sitting out here. Like, I'm trying to get on the damn thing. Oh, you know? Yeah, yeah, I love it. The last time you had some candy, man. It's been a long time, huh? Hold on, man. Look. Check me out. I got you some Mike and Ike, you know what I'm saying? Hold on, hold on, hold on. What else I got you, man? I got you. Yeah, man, you, the whole bag yours, man. The whole bag. Man, I see you just got out of the hospital, man. What happened? And they just discharged and nowhere to go? I got your hat, man. I got your hat. If you cold. You gonna have to put it on, but I got well, you. My bag and took up too. Yeah. Trash bag. You know what I'm saying? The lights to went down. I spent good money on this. The one guy he ain't know how to talk, so I hope the guy share his shit. If not, hey, it's between them and God. But that's it for me, y'all. I'll catch y'all in the next one.